Hi, I'm Joe with EV Paranormal, and today we're back with another peer review. It was requested that we review Haunted Castles, and while there wasn't a specific request, we decided to go with one of our favorites, which is Raymond Hall. Raymond Hall is one of those places where you're probably not familiar with the name of it, but you've almost definitely seen the inside. If you like paranormal stuff or photos, or have seen any paranormal photos at any place at any time for any reason. Does this photo look familiar? So the ghost in this photo is called the Brown Lady of Raymond Hall, and it's generally believed that this is the ghost of Dorothy Walpole. So Dorothy Walpole was the sister of Robert Walpole, who is generally considered to be the first Prime Minister of Great Britain. Uh, Dorothy Walpole is probably also famous for her bad judgment. So first things first, she married Charles Townsend, which, while yeah, I mean, he had money, because why marry anyone unless you're marrying them for money? He had a notoriously bad temper. And do you know how bad your temper has to be to live in that time and still have someone comment on how bad it is? I mean, my god, the man was probably the Incredible Hulk, just smashing everything up in there. That's probably why his castle was only a hall. He destroyed all the other rooms. And her second bad decision was to then cheat on this man, this uncontrollable ball of rage and whiskey with Lord Wharton, who was also another tycoon and came with many of the same senses of entitlement and jealousy that you would expect someone with money in that time to have. So when Charles Townsend found out, he was a little bit upset. He ended up locking her in her bedroom at Raynham Hall and did not let her out ever again. I mean, she died in there later of smallpox. Anyway, her ghost is later seen and during a Christmas party and she's spotted by Lucia Stone and Colonel Loftus. They describe her as wearing the brown dress that she always wore and having empty eye sockets, which, yeah, you're, you saw a ghost, you might as well go all out with it. So because of this brown dress, she's called the Brown Lady. Now it gets, it gets interesting because the next year, a guy called Frank Marriott, who is actually friends with Charles Dickens, interestingly enough, decided that he was going to prove this ghost story to be complete and utter horse shit. So he says, I'm going to spend the night in Raynham Hall and I'm gonna prove that you guys are fucking liars. So, over the course of about three nights, he stays at Random Hall, directly underneath the portrait of... of Dorothy. After spending the night on about the third night, the young Townsends come in to see him in his room, and at this point he's in his bed clothes, essentially, just his shirt and trousers. And they're like, hey, come check out this gun that we got. It's an interesting gun. You might want to see it. And so he's like, all right, all right, just let me grab my revolver real quick, which for the 1830s, that's probably code for, I don't trust you guys to not shoot me with this new gun you're about to show me. This is in case we see the brown lady, ha 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 ha. And so they take him down and they show him this new gun that they, that they had imported. And he's like, yeah, that's, that's definitely a gun. Good job, you guys. Great, great eye for guns there. And so... The three of them are walking back, and, and everything is dim at this point. It's nighttime. Most people have gone to bed. They happen to see a light at the end of the tunnel, like a lamplight. And so Frank says, eh, whatever. Probably just one of the maids getting ready to go to the nursery to put all the kids to bed. I'm only in my shirt and trousers, so I'm totally indecent. I'm going to hide behind this door. And the Townsends did the same. So... He says that he's watching and he's waiting and he's like, God damn, this maid is slow. But eventually he sees, he sees the maid pass. And when he sees her, he immediately recognizes her from the portrait that he spent the last two nights under. He readies his revolver, but by the time he makes the plan to actually burst out and apprehend the brown lady, she turns to him. And he says that she, it was the most evil, diabolical look that he's ever seen. And it pissed him off, and so he fired at her. He shot a ghost in the face because it tried to scare him, and it pissed him off. And that's basically the end of the story. Frank Marriott says that he never tried to deal with the Brown Lady of Random Hall ever again. But what's really interesting about this is that he never wrote about it. The story that we have is actually an account of his daughter, Florence. If you're a novelist, you don't make up stories and then not write them down. So there's actually a really good chance that this happened more or less exactly as he said. 
So the actual photo itself was taken by two journalists from the Country Life magazine who had come to photograph Raynham Hall and show some of the nicer bits of it. The story goes that they're standing there in the foyer and they're setting up their equipment and all that and then they see this ghost and it's, you know, it's hazy and it's about head level and the guy, the main photographer, is getting ready with his camera and he's holding it up and he waits for exactly the right moment and then he takes the picture. And this is the story that both of them say. Now, I don't know how familiar you guys are with ghost photography or how all that works, but usually you don't have that much time. It's there and then it's gone. It's not like the ghost is going to get jealous of everything else being photographed. Although this is the sort of apparition that attended a Christmas party even posthumously, so maybe. Although no other photos have surfaced, so it's extremely unlikely. It's not nearly the sort of quality that you would expect from two experienced photographers who have been taking photos, you know, all this time. This photo, even from an aesthetic standpoint, isn't good enough for a magazine. And so it seems like if this is the sort of photograph that they took, that something has been done with it. There's also the striking resemblance of the brown lady herself um, to a Virgin Mary statue. In all sightings of Dorothy Walpole, she doesn't have that shroud, she's just wearing her brown dress. And so there's no reason for her to show up as just a white blob. Now, Harry Price also looked at this photograph. And his hobbies included bunking everything he could get his hands on, dressing like a man who would challenge another man to fisticuffs, and not growing mustaches during one of the only times in American history where growing a badass mustache would have been appreciated. Now, Harry Price took a look at this photo and he said, yeah, this photo looks pretty legit. I don't know what could be done to, to fake this. However, the magician John Booth actually supposedly successfully recreated this photo at a location called the Magic Castle, uh, wearing nothing but a sheet. And while that sounds hilarious and I'd really like to see it, I haven't been able to find any actual, any photographic evidence that that happened. Other people have suggested that they could achieve this effect with gel, they could achieve it by dressing up in a sheet themselves. And, but most likely it was achieved through superposition. So, my official stance on Raynham Hall is going to be that the location is almost definitely actually haunted, but that the photograph of the brown lady at Raymond Hall is fake. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. If you'd like us to review a, a location, photograph, whatever, go ahead and leave it in the comments box below and we will get right to it. Have a good day.